Welcome to this episode on Human Resource Development course. In this episode, we are going to focus on Potential Appraisal and Assessment Center, a technique of appraising potential. Potential refers to abilities of an employee which are currently not brought to use by an organization. It means a talent or capacity to undertake higher challenges on job in the future. A fundamental ideal idea behind potential appraisal is that every individual has certain hidden qualities in varying proportion. When these qualities are not tapped or identified, these remain dormant. So potential appraisal is a sincere effort to identify the hidden skills, talents and abilities in a person which even he may not be aware of. It's a future oriented concept and it is a powerful tool for employee advancement. The latent skills of a person are tracked and his true potential is evaluated. According to K. Ramachandar, Director, Human Resource and Operational Policy, Philips India Limited, potential appraisal is undertaken in a very systematic way in Philips India Limited. He has observed that people are like icebergs. What we see above the surface or the performance of the people is only a part. The large part of the attributes needed to perform excellently in a future job, which he calls it as potential, is not immediately visible. It is hidden below surface. Potential appraisal is thus concerned with unfolding these hidden attributes. These attributes may be in the form of analytical power, imagination, creativity, sense of reality, ability to see future, ability to work in varied environment, risk propensity, initiative, proactiveness, high achievement motivation, passion towards improvement, problem solving and decision making skills. All these attributes constitute potential of an individual and through potential appraisal all these aspects or attributes are identified. From this point of view, potential appraisal differs from performance appraisal. The former is related to future role of an individual while latter is concerned with his present role. That is, performance appraisal is concerned with the present role of an individual in the organization. In the modern era of human resource management, appraisal system lays greater emphasis on the development of employees rather than their evaluation. This is better fulfilled by potential appraisal which involves assessing the capability of an employee which he possesses but that is not being utilized fully at present. Many organizations consider and use potential appraisal as a part of the performance appraisal process. Potential appraising is different from appraising performance. It may be mentioned that an employee who is doing his present job effectively may not be equally effective in a higher order job, especially when transferability of skills relevant to his present job is limited because of the nature of different jobs. Potential appraisal is used in a number of human resource management functions such as human resource planning, career planning, succession planning, promotion or termination decisions, and employee training and development. Many companies in India undertake potential appraisal either independently of performance appraisal or integrating both the systems into one. However, potential appraisal system works better when it is taken independently. In this context, potential means a prospective employee who is capable of undertaking different challenging assignments. Potential of employees need to be discovered for organizational effectiveness. Organizations must aim to utilize the full potential of the workforce, institute an environment to unleash the latent creativity and create conditions for promoting innovation. Promo potential is actually a useful succession term if we filter it through the leadership pipeline model. Potential may be Turn potential, growth potential and mastery potential. Turn potential is the ability to do the work at the next level in an organizational hierarchy the next 3 to 5 years or sooner. 
Growth potential refers to the ability to do work which is complex, more challenging, needs innovative skills, pioneering, expertise, etc. at the same level in the near future. Mastery potential is the ability to do the same type of work that is currently being done a better. Assessing the potential of the employee. So the following steps are administered to assess the potential of the employee. The requirements of the higher job and how these employee meets those requirements is found out. The analysis relating to the knowledge, skills and attitude of the employee and the possibility of it being used in the higher job is questioned. The personal performance parameters such as quality of decision making, willingness to take up additional load or responsibilities, dependability, initiative, imagination, open minded to suggestions and new ideas, interpersonal relationships are analyzed. The employee's ability to develop those qualities required for performing the job at higher level effectively is also taken into consideration. The next step is the follow up where the management has identified the person, they can provide the necessary guidance, training and development so that the person becomes capable of handling higher responsibilities and performing well in his new role better way. The potential for improving performance, shortly called as the PIP, measures the performance of the average worker versus the best person performing a particular task. Large differences suggest that performance can be improved by bringing average performance up closer to the best performance. Small differences suggest little potential for improvement. An employee with high potential is a good candidate for assuming more responsibilities in the future. In Western countries, many organizations use potential appraisal as a part of performance appraisal process. However, in India, not many managers are aware of this term, though informally every organization makes potential assessments. There are no records of this potential appraisals or the assessments being done. It is done in more in an informal way. Higher officials often determine whether a particular employee has the potential to take additional responsibilities in the future. It helps in deciding a career plan for the employees. That is why it comes under the domain of human resource development. This also helps to evaluate candidates for promotions and developing suitable employee base for succession planning. So the potential appraisal which is usually done as an extension of performance appraisal helps in succession planning at all organization levels in the future. The latent capacity of an individual may mean an individual's ability to foresee opportunities and their impact on current decisions, the ability to identify resource gaps, ability to perform in very tough and diverse settings, displaying a high degree of personal and intellectual integrity at all times. So the main objective of potential appraisal is to know the employee's potentials and to use those later by putting on them higher responsibilities. It's a normal practice to promote employees based on their past performance. Past performance gives us a feedback regarding the ability of the person to do a given job at a given level successfully or not. And it could be a future indicator of, it, indicator of potential if the jobs are similar. However, capabilities required to perform one role may not be the same as those required to perform a higher role having different functions. Therefore, past performance cannot be a good indicator indicating the suitability of the individual for a higher role. For example, a good salesman need not be a good manager in the sales function since the job of a sales manager requires managerial qualities apart from selling skills. Potential appraisal aims at identifying and assessing the capabilities of the individual to perform higher level of functions and it forms a basis for decisions associated with promotions and succession planning. In potential appraisal, attributes like velocity that is the speed and direction in which the employee progresses, 
the people and customer listening skills interpersonal relationship skills and focus on results initiative etc or assist they have become significant in the changing world today because they help the management to have a blueprint of their succession plan with the data available to them the management can easily identify who are all to be given the leadership positions in the future organizations today take the responsibility about advising their employees with potential to improve themselves for career advancement in the organization it is very essential for organizations to do so because if the employee with potential leaves the organization it may be difficult to fill up the gap the organizations have to train employees within specific areas from time to time so that they gain core competence in the specific areas to put across the basic objectives of potential appraisal the basic purpose is to identify the potential of a given employee to occupy higher positions in the organizational hierarchy besides this the objectives can be listed as below identifying the abilities of an employee in order to evaluate whether that employee is suitable for future assignments or otherwise occupy positions higher positions in the organizational echelons and undertake higher responsibilities because past performance may not be a good indicator for future and higher role inform employees about their future roles and give a lead to their career plan make suitable corrections in training efforts from time to time according to the skill gap present in the individuals inform employees about they must do something for their career prospects help organization for a suitable succession plan improve the quality and quantity of performance of an employee and give proper feedback to the employees for their potential this helps in creating uh, building up a creative imagination and it uh, which uh, it is ability of presenting an existing thing in an unconventional and a different manner it helps in analyzing the sense of reality which refers to an employee's way of interpreting a situation helps develop leadership skills which refers to the abilities to direct control and harmonize with people in the potential appraisal process attempt is made to match the employee's abilities and aspirations with the organization's forecast of requirements for managerial staff in the light of this a responsibility is cast on the supervisors to provide specific instances of how the employee can further his or her development and achieve specific goals a consensus is reached as to the employee's goals for the next evaluation period and the assistance and the resources that will be provided by the management this aspect of employee appraisal should be the most positive element in the entire process of employee development and this helps the employee focus on behavior that will produce positive results for all concerned the objective of potential appraisal system is to help the top management make decisions regarding suitable per persons for particular job by generating data about the employees and their potential for performing different higher level roles it helps in giving some pointers on how organization can develop managerial talent by identifying developmental inputs required by promising employees performance review serves a positive purpose in this direction the potential appraisal is concerned with forecasting the direction in which subordinate's career can find tune and the rate at which he or she is expected to develop the assessment of potential requires an analysis of existing skills and qualities and how these can be developed so that both company and the employee are mutually benefited there is also an important counseling aspect to review the potential which consists of discussions with the individual about his or her aspirations and how these can best be matched to the future foreseen for him or her these discussions are a vital part of the procedure of potential appraisal 
because they provide management with insights about employees feelings on the subject which may have a direct impact on the plans for development including training and job rotation they can also provide employees with additional motivation and encouragement which they need to remain in the company potential appraisal presupposes the existence of clear cut job or role descriptions and job or role specifications that is the qualities needed to perform the role there are certain mechanisms that can be used for potential appraisal the first mechanism is rating by superior the potential of a candidate can be rated by the immediate supervisor who is acquainted with the candidate's work and also his or her technical capabilities psychological tests managerial and behavioral dimensions can be measured through a battery of psychological tests games simulation games and exercises through assessment centers in basket exercises and other activities of the assessment centers can be used to uncover the potential of the candidate performance records performance records and ratings of the candidate on his previous jobs should be examined carefully on various dimensions such as creativity initiative risk taking ability etc where why, which might play a key role in discharging his duties in the new job now let us have a look into the process in which the potential appraisal can be implemented in organizations the potential appraisal process proceeds in the same way as that of performance appraisal but with some adjustment indian organizations like glaxo cadbury p pfizer procter and gamble philips etc use potential come performance appraisal system that is they integrate the potential appraisal system into their performance appraisal system usually it's a four step process the first step being role description the organization roles and functions are defined clearly and job descriptions are prepared for each job the qualities required for performing each role based on the job description their eligibility for occupying those positions is assessed rating mechanisms the various mechanisms uh, for judging the qualities of candidates was already seen so rating by other psychological tests simulation games performance record uh, records and so on then so the rating mechanism uh, that is the ideal rating mechanism is to be established for different types of uh, jobs and roles and uh, that has to be Clear, clearly mentioned in the manual for potential appraisal the third uh, step is organizing the system hr manager sets up a system to allow the introduction of the scheme smoothly incorporating answers to some complex questions like how much weightage to be accorded to merit in place of seniority in promotions how much weightage is to be accorded to each of the performance dimensions vis a vis technical managerial and behavioral qualities what are the mechanisms for assessing the individual on different indicators of his or her potential and with what degree of reliability these uh, complex questions are answered by the hr department in consultation with the hrd department and these forms the basis for uh analyzing the potential of individual employees the fourth step is the feedback like performance appraisal the system of potential appraisal must provide every employee an opportunity to know the results of his or her assessment organizations like tcs tata consultancy services infosys city bank and state bank of india are uh, were conducting potential appraisal on a regular basis most organizations uh, as already told usually uh, included as a part of the performance appraisal system but the concept of potential appraisal in the organizations is uh, a double edged sword so it has advantages and disadvantages too potential is about the future while performance deals with the past good performance in the past in a given job need not be a good indicator for likely performance in the future so if we are going to tie up uh, potential appraisal uh, to the performance appraisal system 
it may not serve as a good indicator of the expected future performance of an individual. Bias of the boss who is just one level up may creep into the potential appraisal. So, sometimes it may happen that the boss may give a biased judgment about his immediate uh, subordinate fearing that the immediate subordinate may uh, go uh, many, level, many high levels higher than himself. Potential should relate to competencies while performance are related to key, uh, uh, key result areas or KRAs as it is called. The other task assigned to the individual also is measured in case of performance appraisal. Potential is about assessing people, people's competencies required for higher roles. So, a person who is eligible for the current role, who fits into the current role may not actually possess the uh, required competencies for the higher low role which may require a different set of attribute. This concept was highlighted by uh, Peter Principle in 1969 that all employees rise to their level of incompetence. That is uh, people get promoted till they reach a level of incompetence. So, there are uh, this satire was uh, criticized positively and negatively, but in many cases this holds true when potential appraisal is a part of performance appraisal. The concept of Peter principle is proved when a sales uh, manager, uh, a sales representative who has performed very well and was uh, gooding, uh, showing a very good performance in terms of loyal customers was not uh, able to perform well when they were promoted as sales managers and they found difficulty in leading the team. This may happen if performance appraisal is taken as the basis for potential appraisal and promotions are based just on just based on the existing performance. Performance on a given job is partly dependent on the support given by the organization including his reporting officer and reviewing officer and their judgment may be more reflective of the situation in which the performer has performed rather than his actual capabilities. In an article by Dr. T. V. Rao, is past performance a good predictor of future potential, which is an IIMA publication, has mentioned about uh, assessment center as a competency assessment tool. According to him, an assessment center is a comprehensive standardized procedure in which multiple assessment techniques such as situational exercises and job simulation are used to evaluate employees for a variety of manpower decisions. He quotes about the history of assessment centers. Assessment centers methodology is known to have been used for recommended for at least 1500 years ago in India as mentioned in Kautilya's Arthashastra. Different methods of assessing a candidate for ministerial position has been spelt out clearly in Arthashastra and the process was observation, performance appraisal, assessment by those who knew him, interviewing and other forms of testing. Early application of assessment centers can be traced to the German military assessment program developed for selection of officers for the German army. Both multiple assessment techniques and multiple assessors to evaluate complex behavior with special focus on leadership were used. Assessment was based on subjective opinion and very little rating was done. The first industrial application of assessment center methodology was done in the year 1956 by American Telephone and Telegraph Company. Both individual characteristics of young managers as well as organization settings in which they worked were studied and evaluation of the assessment center was used to predict whether the participant would make it to the middle management in the next 10 years or less. The different types of assessment center exercises used are in basket exercises. An assessment center measures ability to perform job related tasks through simulation techniques. One such exercise is the in basket or in tray exercise. It is an assessment activity that is widely used by employers 
to measure the candidate's suitability for a job. It's a business simulation where you play a member of staff who has to deal with the workload of a typical day. The intra exercise measures the analytical skills, communication skills, written skills, delegation skills and business acumen of the candidate. The purpose of the intra exercise is to evaluate and test how well the candidate is able to efficiently use his time and resources, prioritize his workload, identify, investigate and address key issues, anticipate and resolve problems, delegate and liaison with others. At the beginning of the intra exercise, the candidate receives background information about the imaginary scenario to help build a clearer picture and to give the context. Often it includes information on the imaginary role and responsibilities similar to the role that the candidate has applied for. The key issues and objectives of the organization, a description or organization chart with a list of staff that he is responsible for and a list of colleagues and supporting departments he may use during the activity. A summary of third party relationships and people of companies outside his own. That is the customers, suppliers and distributors is also given to him. The business calendar for the next few months is also interested to him. Because the intra exercise is such a rigorous and real world practical test, it frequently exposes the candidates who have performed well elsewhere in the interview or assessment event. Leaderless group discussion. Another technique is a leaderless simulated organization meeting. In this meeting, candidates participate in group discussions about a job problem such as a promotion, discipline, group management skills, creativity or unethical practices etc. People are rated on such characteristics such as verbal ability, persuasiveness and interpersonal skills. The next exercise is the management game where the measurement of technical skills is involved. More often than not they involve computer simulations. The next exercise is the individual presentation. People are asked to make a presentation on a prescribed topic or idea and their communication skills, persuasive capability and poise are measured therefrom. Other techniques in used in assessment center include oral presentations, role plays, intelligence and psychological tests, interviews and written communications all designed around specific job dimensions. This assessment center has some merits and demerits. The advantages of assessment centers are the actual job problems and conditions are measured as in modeling training due, during the assessment methodology. The assessment center results are very useful from in promoting employees. Assessment center techniques are specific, specifically useful for spotting new management talent. Talent in individuals who have not previously held management positions. Assessment center exercises is also used to identify managerial weaknesses and deficiencies and training and development can be recommended to overcome these. The major disadvantage is that it is a very costly exercise and a time consuming exercise. Secondly, the techniques used in assessment center may overemphasize interpersonal skills at the expense of technical skills. People who have good technical skills but are poor in uh, interpersonal skills cannot fare better in assessment center techniques. Finally, in any testing situation, some candidates become nervous and they don't perform well as they would normally do on the job. Their real motives do not get reflected. Assessment centers also fall prey to this particular disadvantage. Using these uh, assessment center technique, high potential employees usually called as high pots are identified. Once the high pots are identified, a specialized training program to develop them in the areas they lack is designed exclusively for them. Assessment center exercises helps the management in identifying the high potential employees 
usually called the high pods and once the high pods have been identified a specialized training program is designed for them at piramal glass limited the performance management system process consisted of goal setting mid year and final end year reviews the employees reviewed at three levels self immediate supervisor and a level above the manager the form was updated to a central database providing access to the employees for their key result areas and achievements a sense of empowerment was instilled in the employees and the process itself became error free and smooth many companies which carry out performance appraisal also keep record of the potential of their employees for future promotion opportunities the task of identifying potential for promotion cannot be easy for the appraising manager since competence of a member of staff to perform well in the current job is not an automatic indicator of potential for promotion at the strategic engineering division of tata power company continuous improvement recognition and engagement of employees is the key to manage performance the organization launched the placement recommendation framework to enable employees to better align with organizational objectives by taking into account their aspirations expectations and competencies a grid positioning map indicator is develop, was developed highlighting well placed employees to show potential for career broadening and increased responsibility or not so well placed or early for evaluation this evaluation helps the employees to understand the direction in which they have to grow and build their skills i hope you would have learned certain exercises which you can expect as a part of the selection process when you enter big companies we'll come together again to hear our next episode on human resource development bye for now bye for now